Hey everybody, Father Dave. We're gonna head out on the old, uh, the old, the new Triumph Scrambler 400X. It is my first motorcycle. All right, the day has arrived. After much joy, waiting, and saving, today is the day. Bill has brought the good news of Father Dave's first motorcycle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can she speak? Not yet. Got the Not pump yet. going. And then it turns on, all the dash does what it does. Make sure that's down. Look that pump. Ah. Side stand up? Yeah, I wasn't in neutral. So I was in Oh, very good. Yeah, so yeah good. It, it's a safety. Good to know. <laughs> it sounds good. And I'll probably do a, a new rider's guide or advice or review. That's it. A new rider review of the Triumph Scrambler 400. I Sneak preview. I absolutely love it. But for sure, have a great um, Memorial Day weekend. Pray for the men and women who have passed away to keep our country safe. Wherever their souls are, we can help them. They helped us. Give us the freedom to get on a motorcycle and do some riding in this country that we still have freedom. We only have it if we keep defending it from, you know, from anyone who would try to take it. So we pray for them this weekend. Maybe your ancestors, certainly some of mine. Two from shore and earn on her a right wheel board. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take their wheel in tow. Soon may the wellman come to bring her sugar and tea and mum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Hey everybody, so here we are at uh, the Manuspawn Reservoir. You can probably see there's a good five mile lake there in the distance. We'll stop here in some shade and uh, just do like a little, I don't know, first beginning riders review of the Triumph Scrambler 400X. Uh, the question that I wondered and pondered over for my first motorcycle, and I didn't grow up, just let me, I guess, phrase this right here. Uh, so, and I'm just using my phone here. I did not grow up riding dirt bikes, I didn't grow up riding motorcycles. I got my motorcycle license last year, I took the MSF course, and uh, this year got the motorcycle. And I like fretted over, fretted is the wrong word, I like, you know, poured over different internet forums and try and listened to so many internet, you know, uh, people talking about, you know, good beginning motorcycles, whether that was the Duke 390, you know, KTM, uh, I looked at the Himalayan, I looked at all these different ones. And is this guy going to pull his car in here? He's not. All right. You know, um, I thought about the Honda Rebel 300, the, the Rebel 500. People tell you when you first start off, you don't actually want to get something too powerful. And that makes a lot of sense because if you're making small adjustments, you know, you could be in, you could be in danger. Like, what does that mean, Father Dave? You know, and this is and this is like and for those who don't know, I'm a Catholic priest. Um, this is for those who have, don't like me, didn't have a history of riding motorcycles. And this is their very first one. So little things. Um, like, you don't tend to think about it, but like as you're holding the throttle, this is the right side of the bike, you know your hand's going to get tired because you're trying, it doesn't have cruise control, nor where I want cruise control as a beginner, because you, your hand is like in, a, in one position, and you know, it's, it's not often in that position for like, you're on a 40 minute ride, your hand is in one position for 40 minutes, well, it, it's not going to be that way, you're going to start to adjust through your fingers to keep, like, to keep your fingers you know, to keep two fingers over your brake. Sometimes if you're coming into an intersection, like in my head is go, going through all of the things that they taught us at the MSF course. And what other people online, like uh, Mojo Jitsu, I have his book. I do his drills in the parking lot of the church. Uh, other people like uh, MC Ryder, right? I like his stuff. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a bunch of, I'm sure you, if you're watching this, you probably already know all these people too. So, um, so I'm thinking, and I'm thinking, you know, you hear story of people dropping their bike, and can they lift these bikes? And so all this is in my head, and this was the one I decided on, partly because it was a cheaper bike, and I'm a priest. I don't make a lot of money. If, it, if you want to give me money, I'll put it to good use. We don't have a lot of money as priests. So this was the good beginner entry bike. Part of why I got a, why didn't you get a Harley Father Dave? Those who know me, Father Dave, you seem like a Harley guy. Um, so my father rode a Triumph. Uh, when we were kids, and uh, I wanted to honor him that way. So I prayed about it, thought about it, 
And when this bike was in consideration for a good beginner bike, I said, all right, let me let me go sit on one. And I did, and the geometry worked really well. I'm six foot one, I'm kind of lanky. Um, go like a, a wide receiver, although now I'm almost 50 years old, so I'm a wide receiver with a belly from Doritos and pork leg and cheese sandwiches, so there's that. Um, 400cc bike, if you're watching this video, you already know all about this bike because this is on your list too. Um, only uh, just shy of 400 pounds, so I thought, all right, it's pretty light if I have to, if, you know, if the bike gets knocked over or, I, or whatever, I have to lift it up. I should be able to lift that up, you know, because I can bench 400 pounds. No, I, I have to try benching 400 pounds. My shoulder probably couldn't take it. But um, is this a good beginner bike? Absolutely. It is amazing. Uh, now, well, how do you know, Father Dave? This is the only bike really you've ridden. That is the case and is not the case. So this is uh, really, you know, this is the main bike I've ridden. My friend Father Pat and Father JC, two priests, they also ride. Uh, and they have a history of riding. So one guy, uh, I rode his. He has a, a BMW uh, GS 800. Oh, man, my friend Father Pat. Maybe I'll get a video of him. It's amazing. It's super smooth. Um... I could see why you want to upgrade. This is a single cylinder, so it produces, you know, thrust every quarter of a rotation. His is a, uh, I think it's a boxer, uh, boxer two maybe, I'm not sure. But it's super smooth, man. And I was like, oh, this is a nice bike. A lot more expensive than this one. And again, if your hand is making, for new riders, if your hand is simply adjusting, in fact, I gotta adjust the phone because I'm getting tired of holding this out here. Right, if you're on the throttle, where's the bike, there it is. But if you're on the throttle and you're, you know, and maybe you're riding like this for a while, your hand's gonna get tired and you're gonna wanna adjust. Or if you're riding like this, which is fine, um, at least I think it's fine, correct me if I'm wrong, your hand gets tired because you're, it's, you know, it's not like a car. It's not like, you know, you're only on one axis there, you know, on your foot. And so you go to adjust. And I was on like a long ride, long ride for me. I was doing, four, I was a 45 minute ride down to Island Beach State Park. And I went to adjust my hand and inadvertently, I rev the engine. Well, luckily, with a single cylinder, only 400 cc's, the bike didn't like take off with me sitting on my butt behind it. I was like, oh, okay. Um, where I could see I would get into trouble with a bigger bike, especially if I started on a bigger one early. And they tell you don't start on bigger ones early. Well, I think that's part of the reason why. Uh, it's a lot more nimble than a heavier bike. Um, some of our parishioners have some great BMWs. I'll, um, I'm trying to remember what they were. One is a GS 1200 uh, and BMW, and the other is like a it's like a racing bike. It's like a thousand SS. I think also BMW. I'm not exactly sure. Super fun, man. I sat on those, and God bless them. They have more discipline than I, because I would I would want to tear that up, man. Uh, Father Dave, you're almost a 50 year old guy. Yeah, but when you sit on a racing bike, like if you get in the cockpit of a jet fighter, you want to be doing some turns and maneuvers and loops and engaging in like we don't want to kill anybody but you want to have like high intensity flying at least i would think so uh got the scrambler i absolutely love it it is a great little bike uh i have almost uh 300 miles on there so um I'll, and it's 600 miles to your first service so i'll let you know what that's like did I do any modifications? Father Dave, do any mods to it? Yeah, this is what I was talking about for those who heard my homily last week. Uh, I took off the regular grab handles and I put on the cargo uh, in the back because I strapped. A, I wanted to strap a beach chair on here and ride to Island Beach State Park and do some praying and, and bring a cup of coffee and a sandwich. And so uh, I did that. Uh, a buddy of mine up the road, Paul, we're going to put on some crash bars here. I don't know, maybe next week or something like that. And I will probably get it ceramic coated. Um just to preserve it and protect it from weather since we're near the shore. And I don't know if you're like this, I'm like this. You know, years later, I, I kind of missed my first car. You know, my first car wasn't anything, my very first car wasn't anything to be proud of, but it was proud for me. Everybody loves their first car, at least I think you should. And I had a um, Ford Escort EXP that it looked like a Mustang body, but it was an Escort, uh, Ford Escort under the hood. And, you know, later in life, I started to look up, hey, could that car, could I find that car anywhere? Does anybody sell that car? And not anymore. Uh, some of you out there may have driven the same vehicle. So I'm thinking, in my first motorcycle, I think in the future, I'll probably get a different one that could let me do some long distance trips because I'd love to go to Nova Scotia. I'm watching some YouTube videos of people like Itchy Boots, uh, people that do motorcycle trips out to Alaska. 
uh, Nick Adams. I love that guy's stuff up in Canada. I listened to all of his audiobooks on his old Moto Guzzi's, and it's just, it's really cool. So I could see myself enjoying a long trip in the future, maybe maybe years from now when Cragley has gone, you know, to heaven to be with St. Francis. Um, I'll do some motorcycle camping later this year. Anyway, is this a great beginner bike? Yes, it is, because you're not going to be too dangerous. It's light, it's a cheap, and it's cheaper as an entry bike. The, they say the fit and finish is nice, it's really nice. I find, I've not driven on the highway, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, and I highly recommend it. So hope this helps you out there. God bless. Coming back in just for a little bit more. If you have any questions, like if you probably watched all the videos about this um, bike already, but if you have any questions for a brand new rider on his first motorcycle, ask, and I'll try my best to answer them. I am pretty busy as a priest, but I try to, you know, I try. I pray for my people when they put prayer petitions in there and try to answer them. Um, I guess a, a challenge that I had when I was watching these videos is everybody's giving their evaluation of these motorcycles as experienced riders. Um, and some of them are really good, like Motorman. I like that guy's videos. I, I bought his, you know, stuff. I do his maneuvers. I really like the Moto Jitsu ones. I do those in the parking lot of the church at nighttime. Cragley goes in the crate. I, I take out my cones and Bumblebee, and uh, and I do those drills. But um, a challenge sometimes is watching experienced riders talk about brand new bikes for beginners because they have an idea, but they also forgot how unnatural it is for us in the beginning and every time you get on it your muscle memory has remembered more from the previous time so like you get out there you practice it's challenging then you sleep on it and then you wake up and your muscles have remembered it and then you do it again and, you're, and you get a little more skill a little more skill and a little more bravery and it's pretty cool so anyway highly recommend it god bless you guys